Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to talk a little bit today about too much masculinity versus too much femininity. And I know my hair looks rocking right now, so thank you for the compliments. Um, so uh, this is something that comes up for a lot of my clients when they are trying to schedule their days. There is this sense of either there's too much chaos and sort of um, flexibility overload, like everything is just going and there's no structure and um, nothing is predictable, uh, very rarely is it reliable, or um, do you have times of the day you can look forward to happening no matter what, right? So there's this like aspect of chaos happening um, throughout your day where you wake up and you just start reacting to things and you just start really, um, you start to kind of just uh, do damage control, right? As your day starts. And that is a sign that there is too much chaos in your day. There's too much unknown, right? And then there is the opposite problem that some of my clients have. Um, this one is less so because it's a masculine property and it is the property of order or rigidity or structure. Um, and some uh, people can suffer from having, you know, people describe themselves as having like a type A personality or being very red, like very structured and um, things have to happen this way and if they don't everything will go wrong and so they're not flexible at all so they end up really um going against the grain of um childhood which is naturally chaotic um because you've got to have some kind of flexibility otherwise you're going to be miserable your children are going to be miserable and you're going to be left at the end of the day wondering gosh what i do wrong i'm just trying to get everything done right so there's this, and I get a lot more into this into my um, in my program, uh, in my courses, uh, this concept of uh, balancing between the chaos and the order, because the order is masculine and the chaos is feminine, and um, you know I could go on and on about this, but ask yourself, do you have too much chaos in your day, or do you have too much rigid structure in your day? Um, and then you can evaluate how you can implement some of the opposite into the day. Uh, so if you have too much chaos in your day, you might want to establish a few of those markers that I talked about. Um, where you kind of establish this, and a lot of women are kind of resistant to this because we know as moms that the nature of motherhood can be quite chaotic naturally, right? So we're kind of resistant to this thinking like ahead of time, oh, it won't work you know, or I've tried it before and it didn't work then, so it's not gonna work now. But if you just start really small and you start to establish a, a timeline in your day with only three milestones or markers, right? Um, you'll start to see that if there's a little bit of structure and predictability and you start taking on that leadership role in your family uh, for your children, then you'll start to see that they'll they'll begin to expect and predict what you're laying out for them. So when you lay out the markers, um, I personally do when my daughter wakes up, uh, when my daughter takes a nap, and when we go to bed. Those are my markers. Um, and those are very predictable. They happen uh, roughly the same time every day, same time frame. Um, and I can rely on those for stability and a feeling of security. Um, and if you're the opposite, if you have a little too much um, structure in your day, if you're feeling like you're not flexible at all, there's no flow throughout your day, you're kind of just like gnashing things out um, and you're you know, you're trying to be uber productive, but like everyone's fighting you about it um, and you just can't focus, uh, you know, be, be, it's because you're, you are um, experiencing a lot of resistance um, from what you're trying to implement and the natural, um, in the nature of motherhood, in the nature of, of being a mom um, for most of the time. So if you do have that personality type, I would recommend that you once again, establish the important things to you, and it could be three or it could be five, right? Establish the times of day where you're doing things that are utterly important, but then in the pockets in between, allow for some white space, allow for some blank time, uh, some free play, some time where you can um, let go of the control a little bit and be spontaneous and present and just see what happens. And then you can take back control at your the next marker, but I'd encourage you to open up a little bit of time for the unknown. So those are my tips for you guys, chaos versus order. Let me know what you think.